good afternoon to all of you uh, without losing any of the contest and uh, content and interest on uh, this particular session so today's session we'll quickly uh, see how to write session objectives so uh, before starting let us quickly recap what has happened in the last couple of days in the part of mission 10x uh, uh, sessions uh, we have seen uh, being from teacher to facilitator multiple intelligence active learning concepts analogies bloom's taxonomy and how do we integrate bloom's taxonomy and multiple intelligence content connect so with this we can start with uh, uh, today's session on objectives we are all very familiar with uh, course objectives writing course objectives for an entire course say a course uh, with a syllabus it always comes with a clear cut stated objectives the purpose of writing these objectives is primarily to uh, understand that what should be the learner be able to do after completion of that particular course so what skills are required what are all the methodologies in which the student has to learn the course and how proficient or efficient would be the student after he or she has completed the course so when we boil down to a lessons because a particular course may have so many lessons we can also tell that as chapters there are multiple chapters or lessons in that particular course each lesson would also corresponding have its own lesson objectives now let us quickly boil down to uh, a particular session a session being one period or one hour it may be 45 minutes or 50 minutes as the case may be do those each of those session also have corresponding session objectives so can we also have those objectives to have a clear perspective as to what the learner would be in a position to learn and what will be the skills that will be acquired by the learner by the end of that particular session so i would request all the participants i am seeing in out locations people are scattered around can we all sit together can we quickly move away from our seats and start sitting together and i would also advise all of you to take a sheet of paper and a pen yes i am seeing also professors who are hesitant to take their pens and papers please take it out very good so uh, in a session on programming okay assume that we have already conducted a one hour session one hour or a 45 minutes or 50 minutes as the session maybe you can call it as a period or hour as the case may be in your respective universities and institutes so that one hour assume that you have already conducted it it may be on any topic this is an individual activity it's not a group activity so each one of us have to write this very good so imagine that you have already taken a session okay that session may be on any topic it may be on arrays it may be on pointers it may be on structures unions whatever or fundamental introduction whatever be the session assume that you have conducted a one hour session one hour means a period typical period so one that one session is over very good now we have come out and let us start writing in our paper all the possible questions that you would like to have asked in that one hour. i have conducted the session i have come out of it now what are the possible questions that i would like to frame and those questions should be within that one hour of content so i'll give you exactly 5 minutes to write all the possible questions that you could write and please write it meticulously it may be two mark questions five mark questions 15 mark questions as the case may be but but please write as many questions as possible yeah yeah i know it's lunch time so can we make it fast and those locations please write as many questions as possible but all those questions should be within that one hour of content one session one session content and i would also request the course coordinators to type it out in the chat space as to what is the maximum number of question one has typed out so can we make it fast please don't hesitate it's not a group activity it's an individual activity some work before lunch is always good write as many questions as possible as two mark five mark so programming as many questions as possible this will add to be an appetizer also okay i have a response from mit suratkal where one faculty has written five questions 
very good please write it as complete questions do not write it as hints do not write it as arrays definitions do not write it as hints write it as complete questions like define an array or what where would I use this particular array etc. Write it as a complete question which you will typically ask in a question paper. Ha, the questions that are possible to be framed from that one hour of content. So, there is a query which says which has been asked like are those questions to be asked in the hour? No, you have conducted the one hour class, you came out of it, you have covered a particular portion of your syllabus and write all the possible questions that are possible within that one hour of content. Anna University Chennai somebody has written four questions very good and write it as complete questions. Yeah, Nirma Ahmedabad is uh, written some somebody has written six questions and please be understood that every class every session you can ask as many number of questions as possible. The idea is to first write those questions. There is a query from KJ Somaya Mumbai any doubts with respect to previous session? Yes, yes, you can write defined pointers. Yes, you can write what are the advantages of structures. Yes, and Singha Tech has written maximum number of questions 9. Periyar University, Maniamai University has written 10 questions. Very good, fantastic. We have all written maximum number of questions that are possible. Let me ask you a quick question. Why did we write those questions? These questions are the ones which we would use to test the knowledge of the learner after having conducted that one hour of session. In other words, it is nothing but the learning outcomes. I have conducted a one hour session and after that one hour session, these are the possible questions that I would like to frame. And it also means to us that during the session, during the session of that one hour, I should have actually told the answers for all those queries or rather I should have actually conducted it. Now, having wrote those questions, I would request you to organize the questions in the order in which you would have taught it. While writing the questions, you would have written it in not so an ordered fashion. So, I would have taught this particular question first and then the next and the, so on the side, you just put the numbers in the order in which you would have taught it. Only change the numbers, you need not repeat the questions, just change those numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the order in which you would have taught it in the class. That means the answers for those questions would have been the ones which you would have taught in the class. Very good. Ordering has been done. I am seeing responses from some locations. Very good. Now, you as a faculty, you are the complete control over that particular one hour, that particular period, one session. In that session, out of those written set of questions, you identify the most important question and put a star mark or put an underline for that question. Just identify what you as a faculty feel that this particular question is the most important question in the set of questions and please put a star mark. If there is one more important question, also mark it as a star. Do not tell me that all the questions are very important. Yes, they are, but you as a faculty feel that this particular question is the one which I would like to answer uh, or which I would like to ask in the forthcoming test or the examinations per se. Very good, identify first the most important, the next important. If you feel one more question is important, please also put a star mark or an underline. Very good, somebody has marked three, somebody has marked two, very good. Okay, these are the most important questions that we feel as a faculty in our session which the student has to know irrespective of, you know, whatever other things I have conducted in the session. Very good, now let us go to the next set. Now, can we write a following statement above all these questions? The que is given in bold red. At the end of the session, comma, the learner will be able to. Can we write this statement above all these questions? Please do write it. At the end of the session, comma, the learner will be able to and please put a colon also. The idea of writing this statement is we are converting the learning outcomes into learning objectives because we know these are the outcomes that are required. Now we are trying to convert that into learning objectives. Henceforth, please write that statement and also try to read this statement before every other question. The purpose of putting the colon mark is that 
at the end of the session the learner will be able to define so and so at the end of the session the learner will be able to explain the need for so and so at the end of the session the learner will be able to what are the advantages of okay that sentence is not framing well at the end of the session the learner will be able to how is that session is also not framing out very well fine somebody has written explain the need for using pointer at the end of the session the learner will be able to explain the need for pointers fine very good okay now we'll do the next step we all have the bloom's taxonomy verb list with us however i will also be displaying it immediately see whether we can change those starting verbs like define explain what how etc so i'm just putting those verb list i am putting this verb list you can also have a look at the verb list you as a teacher have two responsibilities one is that identify a appropriate or a correct verb list number two also read the first statement at the end of the session the learner will be able to create the learner will be able to combine the learner will be able to comprehend the learner will be able to define the learner will be able to draw the learner will be able to identify the learner will be able to distinguish so use an appropriate verb list so i am displaying this verb list so you need not rewrite the questions just strike out because typically we would have written i can also see from some of your responses you know what is okay a quick uh, input to all of you whenever you use terms like what why where when all these five w's and one h called how these are used in a direct speech as a human being i am asking another human being what is your name then it's absolutely right to use what why when where etc even how but if a question paper is going to ask this question the question paper will not ask a question like what is your name the question paper will ask questions like state your name write your name so the direct speech verbs like what why when where etc can be preferably avoided and we can pick those verbs which are available from the bloom taxonomy verb list yes i know it's a tough exercise plus but please do it ha huh. there are questions like from periyar maniamma university they are asking a question the learner will be able to understand it's a very vague statement at the end of the session the learner will be able to understand is again very vague so can we be more specific because understand is understanding level is at bloom's level 2 so can we convert that question by any of the verb list which are available from understanding comprehension as level 2 of bloom's just strike it out and write it on top of your existing questions yes some have completed yes some all the people in a particular location has completed please give me a chat message yes we have completed so the learner will be able to identify where pointers are used the learner will be able to identify appreciate i mean illustrate paraphrase predict rewrite you know choose an appropriate verb very good there is a good, good question also been asked by somebody okay nit suratkal is completed very good okay there is a question been asked from somebody okay the question is why did i underline and star mark those important questions yes so we'll try to answer that those important questions are the ones you as a faculty feel are very important and essential that you feel like asking a student in your test or the exams so if those are the important questions how should we conduct it shouldn't we use some sort of an interactive teaching mechanisms should i also see to it that the learner is taken to a higher order thinking skills in those topics so if there are important questions shouldn't we allocate more time during our session also so these are the quick thoughts if some question is important can we conduct it in it in an interactive manner can we also take them to higher order of thinking using bloom's taxonomy verb list so coming back to the slides i have just put those slides again now try to use higher order thinking skill verbs for the underlined objectives or those important objectives 
I repeat, can we try using higher order thinking skill verbs for those underlined objectives or important objectives? Those which we have underlined or put a star mark, can we try to use some higher order thinking skill verbs? So instead of being at a knowledge level, can we take them towards application analysis synthesis level? Okay. If you have done that, well and good. Preferably try to change those verbs initially. Very good. If you have completed, also quickly read it. At the end of the session, the learner will be able to define, the learner will be able to identify, the learner will be able to list, etc., etc., etc. But please cut down those what, when, why, where, how questions. And do not use very vague terms like explain. Explain is a non definite verb. When st one starts explaining, one does not know when to stop. So, if you ask a question like explain the use of so and so, the student will keep on start writing so many paragraph by paragraph. So, as far as possible, try using a specific verb and as far as possible, try using a definite verb. Another verb which is also giving a vague meaning is called describe. Describe is again a non definite verb, we do not know when to stop. Describe about so and so, fine. We do not know when to stop, he keeps on writing it. So, can we also avoid using such verbs? It is there in the Bloom's taxonomy verb list, yes, it is there. But can we avoid using those things? Yes, NIT Suratkal has completed, very good. In order to write a smart objective or a good learning objective, I am sure from previous sessions also you would have known about SMART. Is that objects, objective, each of those objective very specific, whether they are measurable, attainable, realistic and do we have a time bound also. So that is why I said it would be better not to use describe because you do not know when to stop. Okay. And are those objectives also sh short and focused on a single outcome instead of writing define an array and also apply array. So, that is two sentences. So, can we make it into two separate sentences? Define array, apply array. And are, are they also learner focused and targeted to a specific learning outcome? So, there are three main components in a learning objective. One is the task. How should the learner be able to do it? And I mean sorry, what should be the learner able to do? And under what conditions do you want the learner to be doing it and how effectively must it be done. Very good, we have all written session objectives, fantastic. Now whatever we have written it all sounds very good for us when we look at it. So can we also get it evaluated from our peers, our neighbors, yes. So please form groups of three quickly, yes, your neighbor, one, two, three, yes, neighbors, very good. And please hand over your sheet to your neighbors. So, each faculty would review the session objective of your peer. And what would we evaluate? We see whether that is written as a smart objective, whether it is short and focused on a single outcome, see whether it is learner focused and it targets on the expected learner outcome. Also, verify whether the identification of important questions are being done properly because those important questions are the ones which we have to spend more time and teach it more effectively using interactive learning mechanisms and whether higher order thinking skill verbs are being used on those important objectives. If some location is completed, please review your neighbors. Yes, yes, you can always do it over lunch also, I know. And I would strongly advise you to copy the following things. You can note down the username and password to login into Mission 10x. This is a guest login. Please be sensitive on the case sensitive, M capital G capital P. After you have logged in, you will get a left side menu called faculty guide. Please choose the zone as all, university also as all, so that you can see the locations across India, the various, uh, you can choose the branch computer science, IT and also the course related to computer programming. 
and see what people have done. People who have already attended Mission 10X programs across locations, they have all written sessions in computer programming. Okay, there is a question uh, from Nirma Ahmedabad. Please explain how to solve assignment 6 with examples. Uh, okay, I, I believe it is an objective that you have written. Uh, solve this particular assignment or is it are you referring to page number 61 of the uh, Mission 10X learning approach manual? The question is little vague so it can be more specific. If you have made a note of it you can whenever you are free today evening you can just log into Mission 10X and start searching for materials. Okay, if there are some there are some um, objectives which are written with examples, you can cut down those examples and still write it as an objective. For example, if you have written a question like how to use array to solve x, y, z problem. So, you can cut down that x, y, z problem and say that at the end of the session the learner will be able to apply arrays to solve problems related to so and so programming. So, you should make it generalized. The generalized is the way of objective, but the specific is the way in which you write your questions. Very good, if you have noted this materials we have written session objectives and that is it. So, thank you.